Hey there, we're going to give you a brief introduction to these relays which are somewhat simpler than they originally look. So this is a 5 volt switching relay and they come in lots of kits and they come like this with 5 pins on the bottom. These are quite hard to put into a breadboard but you can get them into a breadboard if you use the fifth pin in the middle of the two strips. So here this would sit something like that or something like that. The problem with this is that you need that fifth pin. So you would need to, even if using a breadboard, still solder something onto that fifth pin before you put it in this position, which is why they often come on breakout boards such as this one. This relay is the same as this relay but with some tails soldered onto the bottom so that it can be used more easily on a breadboard. And with five pins, they seem quite complicated when you look at wiring diagrams, but they're not too bad if you get to know them. The main thing to understand is that even when this is turned off, there is a live channel. So this pin here is the off position live pin. And this pin here is the on position live pin. This is the ground, this is the signal, and this is the power. The power is the power for these pins. So if you want to drive something that's got a 12 volt load, you need to attach a 12 volt supply to this pin here. And then your load would be on either this pin or this pin, depending on if you wanted the load to default on or default off. And to explain that, we'll use this with the tails on. So this is exactly the same, but flipped over. Our left hand side red cable is our power, and that's coming from this supply. This, this orange cable is our ground, and this orange cable is our signal, which I will just put into the board to keep it out of the way. We then have this red cable and this green cable. This red cable is our load line and this green cable is our off line but our off line is still a load and what do i mean by that so if i put the green cable which is our off position onto this yellow led and i power that you'll see that despite this relay being off this light is still lit and that's because the power from the relay is going down this green cable when the relay is off. If we connect our signal line and draw the signal up so that the signal is on, you'll hear a click and the relay will shift to its on position. This can be confusing because you can essentially drive two loads at once. But if you were to remove one of these loads, let's say remove the red LED, you would end up with a supply that is only powering the load, the yellow LED, when there is no signal to the relay. This could be useful for a door lock where if there's no power to the lock, you want the lock to be live. And then when you press the code into the number pad, you get a power to the signal line for a small amount of time to turn the lock off like so. The ones on the breakout boards are a little bit easier to use because you have everything labeled. However, we now have six pins rather than five. We have, as before, our loadout twice, which are these two red cables on the right hand side. So this is relay on and relay off power and power. We then have power in, which is this white cable. And then on the other side, we have our signal, our ground and another power cable. And this power cable is powering sort of these LEDs. So let's see if we can get this to work. At the moment, there is no signal power on this yellow cable, but we're still running the blue LED as a load. And then when we provide signal power, it pulls this red LED up as an indicator 
and it powers the other and it powers the secondary load or the on position load. So the red LED here would be used for if you wanted to have this powering something that maybe you couldn't see immediately. You could tell when it's on based on the red LED on the board. Hopefully that's quite simple and helps you with any projects that you're working on. And I'll put an image as well of what that actually sort of looks like. We'll catch you soon.